Kia ora and welcome to Bust As. Um, my batteries are still a way off yet. Uh, the, the pandemic has kind of slowed freight down just a touch coming into and out of every country I guess. And so they are um, they're not likely to be here anytime soon. Now when they arrive I don't know if they will be the, exact, the same shape and size as the ones I've got. So I really can't um, carry on building around them um, until until I've got them. But I do want to do some more testing and uh, the supplier has said look please keep using the other batteries until the new ones arrive. So it's time to uh, reassemble my battery pack and see what else I can get it to do. So it's an opportunity for another round of mid-balancing. Um, still not sure whether that's the right concept or, or even the right word for it, but it certainly helped last time and can't do any harm. Now I recall a comment on that video about um, a website, Repacker, Re Repack R, or something like that. So I've used that logic, although it's aimed at um, it's aimed at using capacity, so milliamp hours in the case of the 18650 cells it's kind of aimed at. And you, you, you enter in, um, you simply enter in how, how many parallel and how many series cells you intend to use for your battery. And then you simply enter in the capacity of each cell that you've tested, obviously. Now I haven't done any testing on these cells from that perspective. I haven't tested the individual cells and I don't actually intend to. So what I'm entering is the resting voltage. Now these have sat here for maybe two or three months. Um, disconnected from everything so they're just individual cells and their voltages are different and they were when I pulled them apart at about 50% charge and I knew that. And I'm still going to use that as an indication of their condition. Now a higher voltage at 50% charge is may, or you know at approximately 50% discharge is maybe um, but it doesn't really matter whether that's an indicator of it being a stronger or weaker cell. I'm assuming that that means it's stronger because it has discharged less under the load. Um, and so I'm, I'm entering in the voltages. The Repacker website, what it does is it, is it shuffles them around in the way that I did uh, manually um, in, on the last round um, to work out the most, the, the, the best to work out the best uh, mix or combination of cells to give me um, as, as balanced or even a battery in terms of normally capacity but in this case in terms of voltage. So I'm going to do that. And that and that has worked very well. I mean, I'm down to six millivolts uh, variance from my weakest to my strongest cell, which is pretty good considering they were maybe a couple of hundred millivolts out um, in the extreme, you know, cell to cell. But the thing is, I can't actually remember how to wire this damn thing up, so I was looking for the manual and then I realized there's a video on YouTube of exactly how to set it up with with in fact my very own batteries so I went looking at my own video and uh, followed the steps through and uh, you'll be pleased to know that that methods the methods I describe in my earlier video actually work So piece of cake, all that's left now is to plug it in. Now that's where things unraveled a little bit. Um, my beautiful SBMS Zero, I plugged it in and nothing happened. 
Now, didn't quite nothing happen. Um, I could see green LEDs going inside and the screen fired up, but it came up with just one line, SBMS0, and the system didn't boot. Now, <clears throat> I thought maybe my video wasn't right, but rechecked it, everything was fine. It, it, I must have damaged it or something while it was disconnected or disconnecting it um, earlier on, but I'm still pretty sure that everything should have been fine. So I emailed Dakin and said, hey, uh, what do I do? Maybe I need to buy another one. And he, within hours, came back to me and said, look, it's maybe you've got really high humidity. And, and we we'd just had a week of rain and I had... Um, when I was double checking it, I was reading through the manual and it just paper the paper felt very, very wet. So what had happened was, was I had moisture inside this underneath some crystal. Now he said if I just heated it up a little bit, um, the moisture would evaporate and it should be fine. Now <clears throat> I don't really want, I wasn't really keen on fiddling around inside this, so all I did was took it inside, put it in a nice warm place. Fast forward a couple of days and here we are, ready to plug it in again. So if you've got one of these and it doesn't boot up, you probably haven't killed it. It might just be uh, that it's been very, very damp and it's got wet. So we are up and running. Battery's wired up and oh yeah, I, I used some um, I used some of that heat shrink, tested that out, looks pretty good. And I've built a new test power board. And as despite my best efforts, it is no less messy than the last one. Have learnt that um, this cable is really hard to bend, so it's going to be quite hard to get that to go around sharp corners. And just the whole kind of, oh, and we need this and we need that, um, has meant that it's kind of messy. But also beautiful. And most importantly, functional. So it's going to do everything I need to do, and um, I'll, I'll tell you a bit more about that later. But right now, I'm ready to hook up some solar power. So thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to do some solar tests next. So if you're keen, hang about. Uh, otherwise, if you like this video, hit the like button. Uh, it's always very cool to, to find that people like your videos. And um, otherwise, subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Take care. Matiwa.